here we go at 165. O'Toole in the black and Carr in the red. Carr with a lot of skill, comes from a wrestling family, of course. His dad is here doing radio for Iowa State. Keegan O'Toole out of the Askren Academy has lost once only in college. Carr, I think, has three losses, and one of those was to Peyton Mako. Yeah, their freshman year at the Iowa State Open. Back when Mako was a 157 pounder, he's grown a bit since <laughs> then. Carr dances around, O'Toole locks up. So far, O'Toole doing a good job controlling the center of the mat. Little snap there for O'Toole. Carr feeling his way. Again, Carr, one of those guys lightning quick on the attack. So skilled, that's why he's ranked number two. He's 19 and 0 on the year. O'Toole is 12 and 0. O'Toole really staying on the head of Carr here. Carr doing a good job of isolating O'Toole's wrists, but he's got to be careful there because a lot of the times when you have a, a hold of O'Toole's wrist, he's going to use it against you and get to his drag most of the time off of it. O'Toole tries a shot there, nothing doing. There's a shot by Carr. That doesn't connect. O'Toole going to come off that shot with a little underhook here, but Carr has head position. 105 to go in the first. There's a shot by Carr, ducked under, and got in deep on a leg. A nice little snap O'Toole was doing there. Carr did a great job, followed it into this shot, but O'Toole, good sprawl. And Carr trying to get the angle here. He's got the ankle hooked. Yes, he does. 45 still to go in the period. Carr trying to figure out what he can do with this. O'Toole, a great scrambler. O'Toole goes splits position, gets back out front, but then Carr right away gets that ankle hooked again. O'Toole, look at that, gets that far wrist off the ankle. Still in the scramble spot. Now it's a takedown for Carr. He's got the two. Big 20 seconds here. Can O'Toole get an escape? He's on his feet. Trying to pull the hands of Carr. Carr tries to return him nine seconds. O'Toole tries to grab the ankle. Carr will put him back on the mat. And that's going to end the first. Carr will lead it two to zero. Big first period there for David Carr. You know, huge takedown and ride out at the end. It looks like Carr is going to debate with dresser and staff about where to go. He's going to lose down. Yeah, it looks like he's going to go down. So O'Toole will come up on top as we start the second. A great move by Carr. And now he's out and leads it 3-0 after the escape. O'Toole put the leg in right away, but Carr was just unfazed by it. Gets his hips out and cuts away for the escape. Good little head throw there for O'Toole. He's in on a single. Now it's his turn. Can he finish? Leg over the top. And there's, there's a the two. And now a cradle, oh, Carr out right away. And they're gonna talk about something here. The referees are gonna look at it, but man, I- Look at something that O'Toole did here, because Brian Smith doesn't like the call. I think they're looking at the takedown, Bo, but I- Yeah, they're gonna look at the takedown, but I don't know, in, in live action there, I thought there he was He got the no, leg around. Yeah, yeah, I thought there was no doubt there that it was a takedown for O'Toole. We'll take another look here. Yeah, leg in, I mean, that's, now let's see again if, if Carr's hands are down, but, man, it looked like he was leg in there and Carr was in a tripod. I mean, that looks like a no doubt takedown to me. And they didn't look at it very long here. We've got a decision. 
Takedown and an escape. So it's 4-2 in favor of David Carr. So Paul's going to stand there. And still 1.30 to go, Bo, in the second. Riding time doesn't matter right now. Carr with a little shuffle there. Looking like Muhammad Ali up in there. Yeah, I think Jaden Cox is the only one who's done that in the Hearn Center. O'Toole looking to get inside, but Carr is there with a good catch. Shot from outside by O'Toole, but yeah, good front headlock here by Carr, and he's doing a good job of eating up some clock. They'll stalemate it with 55 to go. They'll go back to the middle, and here we go, 50 seconds to go. Don't forget, Carr started down in this period. Collar tie for O'Toole. Carr tying up O'Toole's right wrist. There's a shot by Carr, nothing doing. O'Toole goes for an ankle and has it. Good post high C for O'Toole. Can he finish? 24 seconds. Trying to throw the leg in again, he doesn't get it. Now Carr's in. Scramble situation, Carr's trying to get around O'Toole. O'Toole's in a very prone position. 12 seconds to go, nothing yet. Now O'Toole on the ankle, underneath o Carr. And there's the two at four seconds to go. It's 6-2 in favor of Carr after two. O'Toole. A huge move by Carr. Fantastic re-attack there by Carr. And a great job of finishing. The final period here. Well, the regular season at the Hearns, one versus two, and right now, number two, David Carr leads it six to two. O'Toole starts on bottom. Riding time building to half a minute. O'Toole's gonna have to get an escape and then get a takedown. But Carr building the riding time. Carr doing a good job riding that ankle back there with this claw ride. Eating the clock. Good lift there by Carr. O'Toole, O'Toole looking switch here. Looking for a reversal. Trying to lock a cradle as well. O'Toole still working. Setting that corner, can he get it? He can't, riding time's over a minute. Riding time's at 110. They'll go back to the middle, but a great job by Carr. He still leads at 6-2. And David Carr just eating this clock up. Like you said, Bo, up 6-2 with a minute 10 riding time. 108 to go. O'Toole really gonna have to get after it here. Collar tie for Carr. O'Toole up to his feet. Trip back down. Carr in control here. O'Toole goes to his back, tries to get to his feet again, does, but can't do anything. The riding time's at 133. O'Toole hops around, tries to pull his leg out. Can't. There's gonna be a stall warning on Carr, I thought. They were yep, it, it there will. For action, yep. But still, only 28 Carr seconds to go. Nortul really and needs really seven five to points, two. Yeah. yeah. David Carr has come in and quieted this crowd. He's been in control, too. O'Toole has been unable to escape. Now 20 seconds to go for Carr. Carr trying to trip O'Toole, he will. Returns him to his stomach with 10 seconds to go. David Carr is going to upset the number one ranked Keegan O'Toole by a score of 7 to 2. David Carr wins it at 165 in the battle tonight. Missouri will win the team duel, but Carr wins the battle at 165. He was impressive, man. Yeah, 